My mother grew up on a farm in New England, so I like to say my ancestors were farmers. And my father was a very accomplished jazz musician. And I like to say that both those um, backgrounds really have sort of charted me on my way because the obviously the, the gardening, the passion for gardening evolved into being a very big part of my work. And the jazz music inspired sort of the discipline that I have for the work that I do. My life changed drastically when I was in high school in the sense that I had a, an art teacher in my junior year who was the first teacher I ever had who recognized some ability that I guess I was showing as an artist. And he himself was involved in the field of advertising design and graphic design and said, I just remember him saying, you know, this is really something you should consider. And I had honestly, up until that point, never thought of pursuing art as a career. And it was a very late part in my development to come upon that. And I just uh, am indebted to, to a teacher like that who could find that in a student and set me on my way. My high school teacher, Mr. Trippy, actually had recognized this, this strength that I had in, in graphics and typography. And so pretty much at Moore as freshmen, we were given the whole foundation of art. And I believe it was sophomore year where we had to determine what the major was going to be. But I always knew that it was going to be advertising. As soon as I entered the school, I knew that was available. And sure enough, that is what I pursued. One of my teachers in particular, her name was Libby Lovett Stewart, was a great source of inspiration. She was actively working in the field as she was teaching and was wonderfully inspiring and gave the students a lot of direction in terms of introducing us immediately to professionals working in the field. Right away, I knew that I wanted to be freelance. Uh, so I, I started developing my own freelance contacts and always maintained that status as I moved along in the job market. I think it was always knowing that I like to be my own boss. And I, again, I think that was something that was fostered at Moore because I think you really learn to speak up for yourself. I was at the point where, in advertising, where I had developed sort of a mini agency out of my home studio and, and so forth. And then I found, as it grew, and it grew rather quickly, I was competing with the largest agencies in the Philadelphia area, and it was only me competing with them. And I thought, well, I have two choices here. I can either join them. It was a career choice. I can either join them or make a change. And I thought, well, this really is a good time to reflect a little bit. So. The one thing that I really loved to do was garden. So I started doing that a lot more, I started concentrating a lot more on um, the flowers I was growing. And in so doing, I started pressing some of them. And I started writing my thoughts down about the pressed flowers, keeping a little journal and making enlarged images of the pressed flowers. Uh, and then one thing led to another. I showed them to a friend of mine and he said, you ought to write a book. I thought, all right, maybe I will. So sure enough, I from that moment, it just seemed like the right thing to do. It was a blend of everything I'd done thus far by blending my writing skills from advertising and also just the photography and the love of the flowers. So I set out to write this book and to present it to a publisher and Again, going back to the skills that I learned both at Moore and immediately following um, in graphic design, I was able to make a very comprehensive model, mock-up, of the book. And I really think that's what did it because it was really a fait accompli and the publisher said that. And within 24 hours, I had an offer and it changed my life completely. You know, the, the garden, nature, really inspires everything that I do in my life. But it really came together in the afterlife of flowers um, for me. And fundamentally, basically what you do is you set out, what, like any project in design, 
you know, what is your message here? What are you trying to say? And, and it was really my vehicle for showing the world how I feel. You know, it just happened to be through the voice of flowers, but I say that it's about life. You know, it's not just about flowers. The evolution of the afterlife of flowers has been quite interesting. Um, the book has led to so many other unexpected open doors. Uh, for example, after, shortly after the book came out, I got a call from Martha Stewart's studio uh, about being on her show. And it was because they had seen the article in Family Circle. That came to fruition as well, and it was a really fun experience. It's been an incredible journey that I never anticipated. And um, the thing that's been most thrilling about it is to see people smile when they see my book. And that, that has brought me just tremendous joy. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that I took something that's so common and have reached out to so many people and been able to touch people all over the world with that. And that means a lot to me. Now I'm sort of segueing into new directions with my work because I've come full circle. I've come from the advertising graphic design background that originated at Moore to authoring a book and launching products in the market. Um, you know, I've, I've now launched textiles, ceramic wear, and a line of stationary products. But I found that when I took the break to work on the book and I stepped aside and just really did what I thought was my best work, that was what I achieved. So I'm trying to sort of step back now a little bit from the commercial world to do that once again because I think that at the core I'm an artist and I think that's why I went to more in the first place and I want to make sure that I exercise that ability as much as I remember enjoying it you know in the early days. So I think, you know, from this point forward, I have a lot of work to do both professionally as an artist to continue to sort of put my message out there, whatever it is I want to say as an artist, but also to, you know, give back to more and hope that they will continue to do what they did for me for all the new artists coming in.